So, unfortunately, in my last vlog, I did actually forget to go through and tell you what I thought of the aftershave I mentioned in the vlog before that. So, I forgot about it. I did wear it. I went to Mercedes World with the Versace Eros aftershave on. It's really, really nice. I really like it. Um, it's a really nice smell. It sort of lingers on you quite well. It's a nice looking package for the aftershave. I really love the way that they package these things with the bottles. I love the box, I love the styling of it. I think I told you before once when I got my Dior one. Again, it was very nicely done, very well laid out. So I love the way these things are packaged and it's just give you that sort of luxury feel to them. Now I'm going to be doing a little bit more with aftershaves a little bit later in this video because I found some things in there, some ingredients that I actually like and I didn't know about. I have had some posts and a post I did mention in, again in that vlog before Mercedes World, I did mention that I was getting some few bits and bobs through the post. A couple of things I wanted didn't turn up, things that I wanted to get I couldn't get a hold of. But I have had something turn up that I do want, which is to replace my ordinary going out to work bag. Now what I mean by going out to work bag is a bag I use to take my stuff to work in and I also use it at the weekends on a Sunday to take my Switch, my Nintendo DS and my iPad to the kids to play games with if we're going to do online gaming or gaming together. And I normally take my good old ice bag which is a bag I've had for a while, part of a collection of ice stuff that I keep obviously with my watches and I really like it. Um, but it's starting to get a bit worn and I don't want to really damage it because it is sort of a collector's piece as such. You can't buy them in the shops and you couldn't buy them for mice. It was only available for dealers um, to get hold of. So the handle's getting a bit worn so I didn't really want to ruin it too much. So I decided to go out and just buy a new rucksack. Obviously being me, as you know. And as there is a sale on, there's a 50% sale. I ended up with one of these. Um, this is actually quite big, quite large, I quite like it, it's nice looking, it's got a nice pouch on it, it's a bit thin, but that doesn't matter because I'm only carrying a bit of food to work, um, sometimes I'll take the Samsung tablet because I'll be still reading my magazines, simply because when I get my normal magazines, my GQ, my Wired and my Watch Time magazine, I tend to read them quite quickly, and then I think to myself, well oh, I've got nothing else to read, so I need to get the magazines on the tablet the samsung 12 inch tablet which i do from the websites that i put on previously i'll redo those websites again to get you the magazines so there's things like vogue and esquire and all those sort of magazines that i still quite like to read occasionally and have a look through just to see what's going on i did also whilst i was at it though bought for the first time because i find that i quite need one a bum bag or a hip bag i mean i've seen a lot of people recently wearing these things that got to go across their shoulders um one of my mates at work he went and bought a rolex watch at trotter's jewelers in london if you watch trotter's youtube channel again i'll put a link down below for that their youtube channel a lot of their customers are quite young wealthy people and they've always got sort of bags across their chests normally louis vuitton or something like that um and i don't think i like the look of it i mean vans do do one that goes across like that but i just think it's i don't know it's a bit, mm, so I prefer something that's going to keep on my waist, just for caring about it if I'm walking about somewhere. It was nice, wasn't it? So if we go back and touch on what I said about magazines and I'll, I'll, the magazines, I like reading them and seeing what's going on. Magazines also helped me with this stuff here. This is, of course, that's the Eros. So I said I was going to talk about perfumes and it's through the magazines that you see them. So this had a sampler of that was in this. And um, as I said, I read the other magazines like Esquire and those sort of magazines. And you see adverts for these sort of things and you think, you know what? maybe some of them I might try occasionally some of them read a little bit about them see what they're like now with this there is a sort of a familiar smell to it there's something in that that I like but I didn't know what it was now a couple of my colleagues at work are quite into their smells at the moment so we sort of have a bit of a thing going on with different smells and knowledge about them now they're very knowledgeable and they've given me some sites that sort of break down the flavors and smells in these fragrances and I've come to realize that the smell I like this has got it in it 
and some of my older fragrances that I used to have when I was a bit younger, some of the ones I still got like Dior Sauvage and I think the Dior Home, they've also got the sort of a smell of a thing called patchouli. And I didn't realise that it was the smell I liked, but when I looked through the other ingredients for the other smells I've had in the past, so when I was younger, I used to wear things like YSL Jazz and Calvin Klein's Obsession and, and Calvin Klein's Eternity for men. Um, those sort of smells, they all, I looked through on these websites and realised they all had the same stuff. They've all got this patchouli in them. And that's the smell that I used to quite like. Now, when I was younger, I didn't bother too much. When I was a teenager, I didn't bother too much because I used to smoke a lot. I put on deodorant and some sort of aftershave. I didn't really care much what it was because, to be fair, all I stunk off was nicotine and smoke. But, you know, as I got older and in my 20s and that, now I started using better aftershaves and better colognes and things and there's that smell that i really like but i've never really known what it was so i've worked it out through the ingredients of these other ones actually what it is that i like so we've also started getting some others as well so because between we're sort of all testing different smells and things now we're quite into it there's a link to a website i'll give you a link to a site that was on a watch guy site so there's a guy called paul thorpe who's a watch dealer or ex-watch dealer from brighton that i watch don't watch all of his videos i sort of he linked a bit to he had an interview with producer michael recently i watched some of his videos um some are interesting some just uh, drone on a bit but it's all about watches but the reason i don't watch all of them because it's generally is a lot of talk of rolex and although Rolex is a very popular, very famous brand and sort of a well-known luxury name, they're probably not the best made watches. They're great, and I wouldn't turn one down, but I could do it. I'm interested in all watches, so it's not just those. So sometimes people go on about them, and I'll just get a bit bored. But other things also crop up, and he recently did a thing about smelling like a billionaire, and he put a link to a guy that came to his watch show. They did a watch show on the south coast a while back. One of the guys came to it, does samples. So I shall stick a link to Paul Thorpe's YouTube channel down below and also put a link to the fragrance place where you can get samples of fragrances. They're not cheap really um, because you get a tiny bit but it's enough to make you go and get a bigger one. Like I recently bought the Parfum du Marle Greenly. Again, saw the advert in GQ. Thought sounds quite nice. I read a couple of reviews and thought that really nice, quite nice. So I got some of that and that again, it's got patchouli in it and it's a really nice smell. It's just now having places to go out smelling of this stuff. So I've sampled a few more now. So I've started off my sampling idea to see what I can like and if there's any I really, really like. So I've looked through what I like ingredient-wise to see if there's anything that's really nice. Um, I've found some really nice ones, but I've found some I don't like so much. So one of the ones I wanted to try was a Bentley one. I Bentley do quite a few fragrances, but again, I was looking through the ingredients. One of them is from the Bentley Beyond collection. It's called Wild Ventifer Cologne. It's not bad, it's quite a nice smell, but it's got a sort of a tobacco -y smell in it. There's a hint of sort of smoky wood in it. That gives you the smell, it does smell a bit like nicotine. There's a bit of a smell of a smoky cigarette filled room. So it won't be something I would buy a larger bottle of, but it's um, it's all right. Um, it's just, it's a bit of a, yeah, it's a bit of a strange smell. Tom Ford, another one. Tom Ford, again, make a lot of fragrances. Um, they get quite expensive. They're quite well known, they've had some good reviews. I chose wood because that's the one that's always had the best reviews and most people recommend. It's sort of a, an earthy smell. It's supposed to go through like country walks through the woods and that sort of thing. I think it fits people who wear tweed jackets, that sort of stuff. For me, I don't think it will do me. It's, again, it's very, I don't know, it gives a bit of an old man smell. And I don't mean that in a horrible way. It's just sort of the older gentleman type smell, I think it is. It's um, smoking jackets and gentlemen's clubs, that sort of smell. Um, again, you know, it's a very expensive oud. So an oud, O-U-D, means it does last and it can last, you know, you'd have a couple of sprays and that would last you all day, which it should do because it's 300 pounds a bottle. I don't know, you, you've got to be a certain type of person to wear it and it's, it's not a smell that I like. But again, a lot of people have reviewed it and come up with it think it's quite nice. Another brand I've wanted to try is Pen Halligans. Now, Pen Halligans is a British brand. Um, again, it's quite an expensive brand. It's sold in Harrods and places like that. Um, but it's very well known, again, amongst those people that know what they're doing. They come in some really nice bottles. This one I've tried because I've, again, read all the reviews, seen the YouTube reviews and seen, yeah, there's one that I'd probably go for. Again, it's got a sort of smell that I'd quite like. And they even say for themselves, you try this one for the sinful indulgence. It's called the Impudent, or Impudent, Cousin Matthew. It's a bit strange. Um, again, it's got sort of a citrusy smell to it, very sort of orangey and zesty. It smells very nice, but it's very reminiscent of a French smell. So it's very French cologne, reminds me of France, Paris, those sort of places. Um, 
slightly feminine than it is. It's a male fragrance. These are all male fragrances. But um, it's more feminine than the others. Again, it's not a bad smell. But um, I don't know. I would, it's going to have to grow on me. I have to try this one, see how it works out. Again, it's a nice looking bottle. Even the box is quite nice. So I don't mind it. It's all right. The next manufacturer is Joe Malone, and Joe Malone's a London-based manufacturer. Um, unfortunately, the initials are JML, which is a bit sort of Woolworths, isn't it? But um, the Joe Malone fragrances, I've gone for the Scarlet Poppy, because again, I've read some reviews. I like the way that it sounds and the way that the ingredients sort of mix together. It's got a very nice, sweet smell. It's one, again, it's going to have to grow on me. Um, it's more of an evening smell. You wouldn't wear this during the day. It's not a day-to-day -day sort of smell. It's more of a going out, but a nightclubbing type smell. So I think it'd be quite nice for that. Again, it's got a touch of something in it that I can't quite place. It has got tonka beans in it. Now, there's quite a few fragrances, men's fragrances, that are coming up which have been told you've got this tonka bean in. Out of the collection that I've got so far, this is the only one that's got the tonka bean in it. And it may be that that I smell. It does sort of give a bit of a coconutty note to it, maybe. Um, Tropical-ish. So that's quite nice. I quite like that. One of my favourites. Out of the selection I've had so far on here, that's one of my favourites. Now this one, the next one, is my absolute favourite. This is Roja or Roja, I don't know how you say it. This is a Roja Danger Parfum Cologne. This is a really nice smell. This with the last one, I just did the Joe Malone one. This has got Tonka Bean in it, but it's also got the Pacholi that I like. So it's the only one with a sort of a mix of both. Um, most of the others don't even have Pacholi in, which is why I wanted to test them to see if what that smell was. But the danger, it's, ooh, this is a really sexy smell. It's a really nice smell. They do recommend it's not a daytime one. You don't wear this to work. This is a going out one. And as the name suggests, it's dangerous for anyone that comes around you because it is a proper sexy smell. It's quite a nice, quite a powerful smell. Um, but I love it. I think this is really, really nice. I was just reading some of the blurb and stuff online about the um, danger. As I said, it's a very nice, it's an evening, it is a nightclubbing smell. Um, they say it's sort of got sort of aphrodisiacs and sensuous smells to it. Not going to help me because I don't go out anywhere and I don't have anyone to go out with. But I do really like the smell of this. So this is again, it is again, it's an expensive perfume, very expensive for a male perfume. But um, try out these sites, try out, I'm going to put a link down below to the fragrance sample site where you can get the samples of this stuff. And then it said there's another site, so I'll put links to where you can actually buy them from. I'll put links to each of the colognes, aftershaves, ouds, and so on. And that's basically said. I might try some more out as we go along. Take these to my colleagues. My colleagues and I will have a sniff. We've all become a little bit addicted to smells and fragrances, so we'll have a bit of a competition with it, I think. But, yeah, there's some great fragrances out there and some really nice smells. Mm -hmm.